In a new study, an international team of astrophysicists has discovered several mysterious objects hiding in images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Six potential galaxies that emerged so early in the universe's history and are so massive they should not be possible under current cosmological theory. Each of the candidate galaxies may have existed at the dawn of the universe roughly 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, or more than 13 billion years ago. They're also gigantic, containing almost as many stars as the modern-day Milky Way galaxy. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. these galaxies should not have had time to form. The latest finds aren't the earliest galaxies observed by James Webb, which launched in December 2021 and is the most powerful telescope ever sent into space. Last year, Another team of scientists spotted several galaxies that likely coalesced from gas around 350 million years after the Big Bang. Those objects, however, were downright shrimpy compared to the new galaxies, containing many times less mass than stars. The researchers still need more data to confirm that these galaxies are as large, and date as far back in time, as they appear. Their preliminary observations, however, offer a tantalizing taste of how James Webb could rewrite astronomy textbooks. Another possibility is that these things are different kinds of weird objects, such as faint quasars, which would be just as interesting. There's a lot of excitement going around. In 2022, astronomers, who hail from the United States, Australia, Denmark, and Spain, formed an ad hoc team to investigate the data James Webb was sending back to Earth. Their recent findings stem from the telescope's Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey. These images look deep into a patch of the sky close to the Big Dipper, a relatively boring, at least at first glance, region of space that the Hubble Space Telescope first observed in the 1990s. Astronomers were peering at a postage stamp-sized section of one image when they spotted something strange. A few, fuzzy dots, of light that looked way too bright to be real. They were so red and so bright scientists' team said. We weren't expecting to see them, they explained that in astronomy. Red light usually equals old light. The universe has been expanding since the dawn of time. As it expands, galaxies and other celestial objects move farther apart, and the light they emit stretches out to think of it like the cosmic equivalent of saltwater taffy. It takes time for light to go from a galaxy to us, which means that you're looking back in time when you're looking at these objects. The more the light stretches, the redder it looks to human instruments. Light from objects coming closer to Earth, in contrast, looks bluer. The team ran calculations and discovered that their old galaxies were also huge, harboring tens to hundreds of billions of sun-sized stars worth of mass, on par with the Milky Way. These primordial galaxies, however, probably didn't have much in common with our own. The Milky Way forms about one to two new stars every year. Some of these galaxies would have to be forming hundreds of new stars a year for the entire history of the universe. Astronomers want to use James Webb to collect a lot more information about these mysterious objects, but they've seen enough already to pique their curiosity. For a start, 
Calculations suggest there shouldn't have been enough normal matter the kind that makes up planets and human bodies at that time to form so many stars so quickly. If even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. The fast pace of discovery with James Webb is a lot like those early days of Hubble. At the time, many scientists believed that galaxies didn't begin forming until billions of years after the Big Bang. But researchers soon discovered that the early universe was much more complex and exciting than they could have imagined. Even though we learned our lesson already from Hubble, we still didn't expect James Webb to see such mature galaxies existing so far back in time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. We would also love to hear your thoughts and feedback, so please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Thank you again for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.